Well, hello and welcome to my back step. Um, really different video for you guys today, as some of you may already know. I have started on some uh, solar power stuff. Now, I have one solar panel. <laughs> I have one car battery. I have one solar controller. I have been testing it. Um, I've also gotten some light switches, which I made some cardboard holders for them, just for the time being. But I'm going to try making some <coughs> uh, popsicle sticks. Yeah, if that don't work, i got plastic there that I can use. I, I'm tr trying to hold on to the plastic for the, another project I have in mind. But, uh, hi Doris. Um, but I can use it if I have to. Now, today I am going to start making the, uh, the switch covers. It's not really switch covers, it's switch plates. But I, I do have a more, oh, I have one, I gotta get some more, but I'm gonna make them the fit on so I can put the actual switch covers on here. And uh, they'll probably stick on or screw on. I'd, I'd, yeah, I'll probably screw them on. I don't have any screws for this one, but this one is just gonna be my go by. My guide. Let me show you the solar panel. Okay, so it's currently hooked up, so I'm not going to haul it down just yet, because I got a little, uh, it's, it's, it's actually, it's, it's taped on, but yeah, I'll take it down so you can see it, well, maybe, there we go, I left the film on it because where I got it in the window, but it's still working in the window. It's been keeping the battery charged up. And uh, the reason I have it in this window is because this window gets a lot of sun, like especially in the summertime, it gets a lot of sun. And so now, that's the solar panel. Here's one of the switches that I had done. This is all gonna be replaced. Like I said, this was just testing. I'm wiring that, but there's my light. Now I got more of those down in my kitchen. Down, down, down there, and I have a cat rolling around on my feet. But I am going to start rebuilding these right now. And here's my solar controller. As you can see, I got fuses on there. So if anything happens, the fuse will blow. Not my controller. And there's the battery. Now this battery is actually going to go on the back side of this wall and just have a little wire running into the controller. All of this is going to be taken off and tidied up and made to look nice and pretty. What are you doing, Doris? Okay, now, me being me, and lots of little things going on up here, I have other ideas for those little square lights that I have. Um, I might wire up my cabinet, my, my liquor cabinet, so that I got some lighting behind the drinks coming down, so you can see what's in there a lot easier. But that's all other projects for other days. Right now, I'm going to start in on... Uh, like I said, making new boxes for these. As soon as Doris is uh, done mauling me over. Hey kitty cat. Let's get my trusty glue gun plugged in. I will be, you can't stay up there. It's hot stuff getting up there. While I'm waiting on a glue gun to heat up, I can start measuring and cutting some of these. So, I'll get 
right back with you in a second. I'm going to tie up some stuff first. Here's going to be my measure of weight. I'll screw those on and then I've got a nice neat little better looking box for my switches. This one's not going to screw on yet because I'm using it for a standard. <clears throat> there's only the two wires going in and out because there's only one lead that gets disconnected and this is much better now I have to make a few more of these so this is going to take a little bit of time as you can see but uh, I will get through it and I will make myself some light switch boxes some of the lumpy bits of glue that are left on there. Much better. And these are going to replace the uh, the cardboard ones that I have out there. I just need to get some more of the uh, light switch covers for them. No 
nice enough for me. And of course the top of the switch is where the wires come out. I'm doing that that way so I know which way is up on all of my switches. They are marked, but when you put them in a case you can't really see the markings because it's covered up. So I'll get back with you when I get another one done. Alright, so I got one, two, three. So you can see the steps of how it is. Now I'm going to put some double sided tape on here to stick it on because I don't really want to screw it into the wall because it is only still semi permanent, temporary. But this is much easier than those little toggle switches and it's going to be a lot easier to use in real time so instead of switching on these big lights I'll be able to switch on my battery lights now for for the bedroom I have this one this has a switch on it and uh, I'm just going to run the wires and hook this up in the bedroom on the wall up over the bed I believe so it won't be shining in our face it'll be coming from behind us and I don't need a switch however I do have to change out the switches that I do have so I will show you that when I'm doing it but the first thing I want to do is get this one hooked up because I have to run a wire up the wall across the ceiling through the wall across the ceiling and then down to the light and I'm thinking I'm just going to use this stuff it's heavy enough and I have quite a bit of it there even though it's quite tangled at the moment and see how long I need it to be and I gotta figure out the The positive and the negatives. Once I get, I'll get the length panel first, I think, and then I'll figure out the positives and the negatives. Uh huh. Be back in a little bit. Alrighty, I got my other light hooked up. Um, so it's all good. I haven't gone through changing out my plugs in it yet, so I will do that on the next episode. Um, and I will keep you apprised. Maybe I'll just put it all, mash it all together for you. But thank you guys for tuning in for this part. Maybe more to come. Be safe, have fun.